Hello people of the internet, you probably haven't seen enough, not quite enough um, iridescent gel pens watching, have you after, over the last few days? So we've had the Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallics, we've had the Arteza um, 18 iridescent super glitter gel pens and now we're having unknown brand, which I am actually calling Carbizion, Carbizion. Um, which come in a 12 or an 18 set if you've seen my recent haul you will know that I purchased these on Amazon for they're 9 dollars but they've got three pound off at the moment so they're 6 dollars and these are currently 9 dollars <laughs> so um, these are these these ones work out this much per pen and these ones work out this much per pen now I bought these before these went down in price because these were originally $18.99 or $19.99 so these were better value and I just wanted to compare them and this is exactly how they came so you can see that some of the colours here are much shorter than these ones this one doesn't seem to have as much problem um, I'm actually going to probably send these ones back and keep these ones so I'm going to swatch these ones but what I have done is I've created a swatch sheet Ta -da! <laughs> which we're calling the Carby Zion Shanghai Wenhu Stationery Company that's what it says on the back and the colour change glitter gel pens I got that name from uh, this here uh, what I did is I used Google, Google's Translate where you hold the camera over and it can translate kanji characters and this is what this says here it says colour change glitter gel pens and then what I also did is I translated using the, the uh, Google Translate feature all of these colour names. And uh, they mostly all just start with the word shiny. Uh, but I've used those names on this swatch sheet. And what I've done is I've basically, if it's in the 12 and the 18 set, it says 12 and 18 set. And if it's just in the 18 set, it just says 18 set. So this is available to download if you have purchased these and would like to swatch them yourself or you can just ignore it and watch me do it okay so as usual some paper behind to give it some squidge and a nice zoomy zoom in uh, like I say these names are from the translation from kanji font using Google Translate and hopefully they are in order. I haven't, I haven't moved them out of the order that they they came in. So here we go. This one is called Shiny Silver. I wonder if there's any identifying. There is some. Oh, we should do the pen. We should do the look at the pen. Look at the pen thing first, shouldn't we? So there is some identifying words on there. It says Carbaxion. Baxion. Like it's French, back skion, whatever it is in. And then there is one point, a lovely little holographic thing that says 1.0. Oh, look at that. That fancily screws off, doesn't it? The end. Is that how you get the. Yeah, that's how you get the thing off of. You've got nice and glittery inside, sorry. Very small hole. Really, really small hole. Oh, I wish I still had the Arteza one open. That was a pain in the bottom to open, so I don't really want to... Shall I open it again? If you saw my Arteza, I swatched the Arteza. Last time I did this, it flew across the room. No, I don't think I'm going to do it. Im imagine it, it was a really big hole. You know the hole, can you open the... Uh Dual metallics, yeah you can. Let's have a look at compared to a dual metallic. Really big hole in the dual metallic. Look at that. Size of that hole in the dual metallic. A wider aperture means more ink. So these Chinese pens, really a little bit of ink. I want to open the Arteza one now so we can compare it. Right, let me just get all the bits together. So we don't have a... Uh, so that goes with that, that goes with that. Let's get this Arteza one back open. <laughs> I don't care about my fingernails, isn't it? Yes, it's open. Right, Arteza. 
Is it that easy? Yes. Oh, wow, look at this. Isn't this interesting? If you're a gel pen freak like me, you might find this interesting. So, this is the cheap Chinese one, the one with the smallest aperture. The one in the middle is the Arteza, and then the one at the end is the Pentel Hybrid Gel Metallic. So, the Gem Pentel Hybrid Gel Dual Metallic <laughs> has got the biggest aperture, and the bigger the hole, the more the ink fits in there. So let's just lay them down as well. Ooh. And so. Which was which? No, it's a dual metallic with the grey bit. Okay, remember that. Remember that it's the dual metallic that have the grey end. Right, and this is where this is going to be really evident that the, sometimes the more you pay, the better. So, oh, it even says something on it. It even says Pentel Japan. I've got the date of manufacture 20. 200401. I didn't know Pentel was Japan. Sorry, I don't know if you're about to see it. I'm going to try and show you. There's writing there. There's writing and a date and stuff. Anyway, so that's the Pentel Gel Metallic. That's the Arteza. And then this is the cheap Chinese one. Okay, so cheap Chinese one. So we can see straight off the bat that the Pentel one is bigger. So they're all lined up. No, oh, they were. They're all tied up, and the, the Pentel one is longer. It has more ink. It also has got a bigger aperture, as we just saw when I held it up. So, I'm just going to take that one out of the equation for now. And just look at these two together, which is the cheap Chinese one and the Arteza one. So, the Arteza one, as we know, has got a bigger aperture. Um, and it is got more ink in it and other than that they're identical there's probably not much difference in a refill at the end of the day is there if they get the same end pretty much okay so that that was interesting so let me put these back together i tell you Pentel you would have a lot of kudos if you started selling refills for these and then this is the cheap Chinese one with a screw back which is a bit different isn't it right the lids are really really difficult to get off right 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 monkey let's go let's go swatch for the Carbazion Shanghai Wenhu stationery company color change glitter pens all right so just put a little bit of as usual paper underneath to give it a bit of squidge zoom you in and as i said the names have been translated they're probably they're just using the google you know hold the camera over it and translate the candy characters and there are no names on these just like the arteza ones no names uh there is just a barcode thing here and a shiny thing um so I'm just going to swatch them in the order that they come in the box because that's the order, the colour order at the bottom there in theory and that's what I scanned in to get the name so this one's shiny silver, this one's shiny blue so that's what we're doing so let's, let's get to it so shiny silver, the caps are really difficult to remove by the way but I have had a swatching day <laughs> so shiny silver I mean Google Translate it might mean glittery silver because this is a glittery silver. This is unlike the Arteza one, this is more like the um, Pentel one. It is glitter, probably metallic silver with silver mica or fine glitter in it. So it's more of a glittery silver than the Arteza one, very similar to the Pentel one. This one is shiny blue. <laughs> is blue and it turns into blue with yellow in it it's very similar to the blue gold pentel one
This one is what comes when you scan the thing as ink blue, shiny ink blue. It's a nice blue. It turns into green, so the turquoise green. So exactly the same as the blue green Pentel. Not exactly the same, similar. Just faffing around, making sure they go back in the package the right way so they don't lose their slots. This one is uh, shiny sky blue. This is blue indeed. It turns into a deep purple. That would make a nice starry night. Starry, starry night. Oh, not that again. Um, sky blue. And then next one is uh, that one that I just swatched uh, pen number four is only available in the 18 set so far the pens before that were available in both the 12 and the 18 this one is only available in the, uh, the one I've just done really really difficult really difficult to get the caps off <laughs> no, definitely a green and goes into a blue. I was expecting that. That's uh, very similar to the green. Ouch. Putting the cap on, look. <laughs> the green, blue, greeny blue, green, whatever it's called, Pentel one. Uh, there's the blue that goes into the green and then the green that goes into the blue. Very similar. What do we have next? What excitement do we have for pen number? Be sure they're coming out in the right order. The next one is called Shiny Turquoise and it's only available in the 18 set. Doesn't really look turquoise to me. This looks like a greeny yellow like the greeny yellow Pentel one. Bear in mind these names are just what I've translated from the bottom of the pack. This one, next one is called Shiny Emerald Green. Which is very similar to the one above it. But instead of turning yellowy, it turns... It just looks like it's got green mica in it instead. So the problem is the base ink is very similar. But it's got green mica instead of yellow mica. I wonder who thought of putting mica in pens. Next one is called shiny yellow green. That lid just flew off there. I wonder if it was not on properly. No, nope, it just happens to be a loose lid. Shiny yellow green. Oh, yeah. Yellow ink with green in it. That one actually proper makes sense. It's yellow ink with green in it. Makes it a really limey looking green. Next is shiny gold. Ooh. It's a very yellow gold. But it is gold across the, the ball. So like the silver one and like the gold in the Pentel gold, it's like yellow ink with metallic gold mica, gold gold. Next one it says shiny yellow. It says it's only available in this. Yeah, it's only available in this pack. But if this is shiny yellow, it's very orange looking. Okay, I guess it's really like a bronzy gold, brassy gold, orangey gold. <laughs> Be a nice uh, brass copper colour. Nice. Can't get the lid back on. There we go. What doesn't help is they're triangular, ergonomic, like the uh, Ergo Softs. So getting the lid on, you have to get it lined up just perfectly. Right. This one 
uh, is called shiny orange. Oh, I am hoping it's different from the orange above, which was called yellow. Oh, it is. It's really orange. I'm trying to think if it's like the tangerine in the Arteza. We'll compare it after. It's interesting that these pens are also similar because you can work out on your the availability of your price point which ones to get shiny dark orange ah, so it looks red but it has really got a orangeiness to it and it goes into oh it goes into an orange metallic like a proper Really nice colour actually. Yeah, like a sort of rose gold sort of glitter in that one. A lot of the glitters are all sort of the same, aren't they? They're all sort of the goldy glitter, but that one's a really nice, like a rose gold glitter. See, I'd call that one rose gold if I was naming them. This one is shiny red. Ooh. The one that I just swatched is only available in the 18 set again, so shiny dark orange as it's called but looks like a rose gold shiny red is also only available in the 18 set this is like a red and gold doesn't look much oof, different to the one above it mm. it's got a gold glitter in it rather than a copper glitter that's probably the only difference it actually looks more orangey than the one above. Maybe they're in the wrong order. What I'll do after is I shall swatch these 10 alongside the ones that are, and see whether they're the same. They should be. Right, this one's called, it actually translated as shiny powder. So I guessed it was shiny powder pink, as it's a very, oh wow, pink looking pen, very pink and pink glitter it's like the pink pink pentel pink 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 all over next one shiny fuchsia this one was called always oh, surprises me when the lid comes off quick i'm expecting a fight this is a very bright color Wow, and it goes into blue. Oh, that's very similar to one of the others, isn't it? Like that pink to blue. It's getting so dark in here. Let's see if I can make that flash a little better with the lamp. Shiny purple is next. Looks extremely dark in the pen. Yep, definitely a purple. And that goes into a blue as well. Same blue as above. Try and get the light. There we go. Next one is funny deep purple. I need deep purple. Similar colour, similar ink to the one above. Hmm. And it looks like it's got a. Not quite sure. It looks like it's exactly the same as the one above. <laughs> yeah, they look the same. They look like the same colour ink and the same colour glittery stuff as well. I've only got one more pen to do but I'm trying to decide whether to turn the overhead light on. What I might do is turn it on just before I add the other colours. Now the next one is called shiny black. Shiny black. Oh. They do actually work straight out the um, lid which is good. Some of the Artesas needed a bit of a kickstart. Oh this is exactly the same as the red black in the Pentel. It's actually red. So, 
Where do I get the glitter now? I've missed the lamp. There we go. Got a bit of glitter there. It's so overcast. It's only two o'clock in the afternoon. It's like seven o'clock at night. So that one's red black, very similar to the. So they are really nice, juicy, vivid looking colours. I'm going to turn the overhead light on now and then swatch the 10 packs out to make sure the colours match. And I'll also compare them to both the RTs and the iridescent pens and the Pentel Dual Hybrid Metallics. Okay, so the benefit of getting the extra six eight pack is you get shiny sky blue which is a bluey purple you get shiny turquoise in much di dif difference between those two you get shiny yellow which is a lighter version of the orange you get the two sort of ready orangey colors so there may be a bit of a benefit there you get shiny deep purple which looks exactly the same as the purple and the other one is the same you get the black the same okay let us now compare them to the pentel hybrids first of all and we've got the artesas here as well actually let's do the artesas first because i did the artesas zoom 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 let's have a look um Actually, that burgundy colour in Arteza is red-black, isn't it? Hmm. That is identical. You should can't see what I'm pointing at. So basically, shiny purple. Actually, them two. Amethyst purple and lavender are these two. Uh, pink. Rose pink is shiny powder pink. That one's different because that one's got blue ink in it. The Arteza pens don't really have, they have the matching colour mica. That one's purple to blue. But these ones look identical here. Though, no, they don't actually, because this goes orange to yellow. That does as well though. But that one goes dark orange to a nice rose gold colour. This one goes orange to a yellowy colour. There's not much in it. Old gold looking, that's a bit brassy yellow looking. Similar, similar. Oh, they're similar. They go the same rosy gold colour. That's different. Is that one that one though instead? Look, one down. Yeah, it is. And that is that. And this is something different altogether. In Arteza, that's purple and blue. And that's pink, a real pink and blue. Then that. That is that. These two are the same. And then that, burgundy, is shiny black. The silver is just a metallic in the Arteza, but it is a glittery in this. And then that is Pentel Blue Gold. So, our teasers, cheap sets. These work out full price at 137 and a half pence <laughs> per pen. These will work out full price 58p a pen. If you buy the 18 pack. If you buy the 12 pack, these currently work out at 58p or 55p if you buy the 18 pack. These are teasers, 94p when they're full price. These are about 40p dearer a pen than these. But they do look like they've got a little bit more ink in them when you look at the when you look at the, the barrels. So in the, in this light these look their mica looks a bit brighter. Let's compare them to the pentels now. That's the pentels. Right, right. These, like the Artezas, all the colours of the ink in both these sets, the Artezas and the cheap Chinese ones, are bright and vivid. And when you switch back to the dual metallic gel hybrids, 
the mellow ones do have a lighter ink so but let's have a look this color here this shiny future as, it, as it's called is exactly the same as this pink ink with the blue mica and it goes into blue which is the pink metallic blue one the okay, let's start up here the shiny black is the red black the that one's called pink metallic pink is the pink pink but i'd say the pink is a little bit more vivider in this one the blue green is shiny ink blue <laughs> the green blue is shiny green the orange into yellow is shiny yeah orange metallic yellow is shiny yellow that one is oh it's not that one is it it's more that one oh it's exactly that one shiny purple is violet metallic purple the silver is the silver and the gold is very much the gold i always thought that gold was in the cheap chinese ones was a bit bright but it's exactly the same as that uh, none of these mellow colors are in here at all they are to they, they are totally unique in the hybrids and then the yellowy green is the shiny yellow green so yellow metallic oh, yellow metallic green it is is that one and that blue gold is that one there shiny blue is definitely the blue gold so there are in this 18 set there are a couple that you know this, these two are very similar these two are very similar and in the um, pentel set these mellow ones are very light inked just as glittery but light inked I'm going to switch them over just in case it's the light hitting them because they always look, no they do look really, their mica is really bright isn't it, their glitter is really bright. So that's a really interesting thing actually to see all of them together. So, depends, these are the most expensive obviously, the Pentel. So that's interesting, really interesting to see them all together. Um, these are the most expensive so obviously, the Pentel. Um, hybrid dual metallic if you buy them in a set where they're about 11 pounds for the eight then they work out about one pound 37 um and then these are about 94p like i said and then these are about 54p or whatever i said earlier um so it's kind of like 50p a pound one pound 50 really these are two pound if you buy them individually and there's not much in it so it's like whatever your budget kind of allows i'm going to have the all three of these linked below so if you want to find the these ones the link will be down below and obviously the arteza ones and the pentel ones will be uh, linked down below as well so uh yeah that's really interesting and i might actually put this this part out on its own thanks everyone for watching take care